Hello from New York City. I'm on a girls trip with my mom and sister and today we've come to the West Village. Pierre really wanted to come here in particular. She's actually done all the, the planning for the sites of today, mm -hmm. the shops that we're gonna hit. Mom's here too. Yeah. I'm pulling up my Google Maps as we speak. As we speak. The first store Pierre led us to is called Stony Clover Lane. This is a brand that does bags, pouches, and accessories, and you can customize them with these little patches. They also sell many of their bags with the patches already on and do collaborations like Disney or this Mean Girls one. Pierce spotted this tartan weekender bag that she quite liked. This is part of their prep rally collection. She's been on the hunt for a weekend bag like this for quite a while, so she was pretty chuffed. My mum spotted these cute little initial keychains, D for Deirdre. The green was cute, but it wasn't really working with her Vera Bradley backpack. But the orange, immediately yes. It looks so cute with the orange flowers in the Vera Bradley print. Yeah, <laughs> it's really it's cute. It says your baby's name on it. My dog's name is Clover, so I thought, do I need a sweatshirt with her name on it in a roundabout way? But they only had XXLs. And the jumper was actually not very good quality. It was very thin material. Oversized look. So I decided against getting it in the end. New York girls. Shopping in New York. We then went a couple of doors down to Doen. I have a couple of really beautiful summer dresses from this brand that I've had in my closet for years. To be honest, I'm not as much of a fan of their autumn winter stuff, but of course I'll still have a browse. I did quite like this pink blouse, but even this is quite summery. Pierre really liked this suede jacket that was giving late 60s and it really reminded me of Jenny from Forrest Gump. Here, do you know why we've come to this specific street in the West Village? Of course I do. Why have we come here? It's Carrie Bradshaw's apartment. Ha 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 ha, except it's actually not. It's further down the street. This is so embarrassing because we've watched Sex and the City so many times you would think we would know. But when we turned up, everybody was taking pictures in front of the Red Door house we did think the red door was suspicious, but for some reason in my mind, I just thought, oh, they've painted it. The owners have painted the door. And also the Google Maps said it was this house. So I should have just pulled up a Google image search of Carrie and her apartment. Anyway, this is a good lesson in not being a sheep and just taking pictures somewhere because everybody else is taking pictures there. Pierre still got some cute pictures with like the vibe of the West Village brownstone and she pranced around on the street that Carrie pranced around on. So we still got the vibes. It's all good. Do you want to do a little okay. Carrie Bradshaw run across the road? Wait for this car. Yeah, don't get run over while you run across Neil Manolo's. Do, Wait, do, I need to get the, the apartment in the background. Okay, let's go. Do, 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 do. Mr. Big. Mr. Big, I'm off to eat a salad with my girls and talk about how Mr. Big just won't commit to me. Miranda? In true Carrie Bradshaw fashion, back to shopping. But not before a little detour past this elephant herd. Mum loves elephants, they're her favorite animal. Aww. 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 Actually, I wouldn't kiss that, I don't know what's touched that. I did. Okay. I sponsor six through the David Childry Wildlife Trust. Six elephant babies. Well, they're, they're actually not babies. Some of yeah. them are older elephants. One of my one of my older elephants, she died, so they gave me another elephant who's a bit younger. But there are some. I think my youngest is maybe five. Our next stop was Sopology. This store makes very luxurious bath products, body butters, lotions, soaps, as well as candles and perfumes. 
As soon as our feet crossed the threshold of the store, we were asked if we wanted to try some of the products. So I volunteered as the guinea pig. We're gonna start with the shower gel. Um, tobacco caramel, This ended up being quite an intense hand wash experience. I think there are about five steps all up. We love a communal hand wash situation. Thank you. That being said though, all the products that I tried were super luxurious, very high quality. I certainly wasn't expecting this last step to the hand wash routine, which was to stick our finger in a melted candle as it was burning and then use the wax as a moisturizer. Mum's getting a custom body lotion done. I said I liked florally scents. I asked if you had anything around like a gardenia type mm, of smell. That'd be pretty. That, so you see you mix it with some sort of wood, woody type scent just to take that, that yep. edge off. So lovely and soft. Really pretty. All of that exfoliating and moisturizing and scrubbing had really got our appetites up. Pierre had saved a place that we could grab a quick bite. This is Le Industry Pizza. It was very popular, there was a line, and inside was very crowded, but we managed to finagle ourselves a spot to eat. Very brave for both of us to be wearing white, eating this pizza. Pizza was good. Did it live up to your expectations, Pierre? Yeah, it was really good. No, no. Pierre then walked us over into the Soho direction because she wanted to look in this store called Sporty and Rich. This is an athleisure wear brand and the whole shtick is that it's supposed to sort of look like vintage, late 80s, 90s. There's our queen, Caroline Bissett. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be like this fake health club from I guess the early 90s. Pierre tried some stuff on. To be honest, this jumper was giving me Brandy Melville. Enormous fitting room. Know, Welcome crazy. to my crib. <laughs> hey, MTV. Hey, MTV. The store was beautifully laid out. Everybody was very welcoming, but we just felt like the quality of the clothes didn't match the price point. Like it was super spency, but I totally appreciate what they're trying to do with the vintage athleisure aesthetic. Since we had ended up in Soho, there was a bookstore that I wanted to check out. This store is called McNally Jackson and they do have a few locations around the city. I was highly impressed with this bookstore. They had an entire international literature section, lots of history books. I mean, you could find any book you wanted here and the environment was so cozy. Thank you so much for joining us on our West Village day. If you did enjoy, please remember to like and feel free to subscribe for more videos.